Hello there, Leo on the mountain, back again with a big backpack adventure. Uh, again, wild camping. Now, <laughs> if you don't know where I am, which you should really know because it's in the title of the video most likely, we are at Lingfell and the car behind me just over there is Simon, which means we've finally made it. We've made it to Lingfell after countless times trying to get here after many setbacks, many weird things happening to stop us from coming on this particular hill camping. We're here camping. Um, I've been told by some people to avoid. It's a sign. Uh, I've been told by people who talk to the other side that, um, you know, I've got to be careful on this one. So, you know, pinch of salt and all that. But it is a bit weird, some of it. Like, we have literally set off to come here and we've not been able to get here. We've had to go elsewhere, like the Yorkshire Dales that time. But I've had a cold this week, which is another sign not to come. I mean, they've had lots of signs, but you know what? The curse has got to be broken. And, you know, I've got trees on top of me right now, which I don't want it to fall on my head. So we're going to set off now uh, and get up to Lingfell and camp. Um, oh, and by the way, I've got a new tent. So you'll see that and uh, I will do a review on it as well. But first time I've literally bought it this morning on Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, cool. I can't, I'm quite, quite excited. It's a tent I've been wanting for a long time. So yeah, hopefully it's uh, fingers crossed as good as I hope it would be. So let's get up to Lingfell uh, and uh, get camping. A little muddy. Well, the tent's up, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I've got, I've got four pegs left over, and I don't, I don't want the four. Uh, everything's pegged out like it should be. Oh, there's one. <laughs> Saying that I found one. That's it. Yeah, I don't understand what I'm missing. Bit of a faff to put up, but. Yeah, I'll leave that for the review, that's okay. Because I'm going to review it. But yeah, apart from that, it's quite nice. It sits quite nice. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll get my stuff inside and uh, yeah, get out of this bloody wind. Well, I'm in the tent. Um, got a bit dizzy out there because I think I'm using a bit, bit more energy than I have. Um, but I think I need to re-guy it out because it's flappy as this. 
Um, I don't think I put it up very well. I think the last time I looked at instructions on how to put up an Abisco light was probably about two years ago when I was gonna when I was gonna buy one. I never did. Um, but yeah, it's it is windy out there though, so it, it probably isn't really much fault of the tent. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna guy it out a bit better, uh, reposition them, and yeah. But, oh, I feel I don't feel great to be honest. I feel a bit dizzy, but I think that's just because. Just, uh, come down from this cold so yeah ugh, not fun <sighs> well yeah guys uh, I quite like it though it's, it's very nice it's a very nice tent um, the, the feel of the, uh, the quality but well, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to review this tent here I'm not reviewing it here I will do a tent review a proper tent review um, up my usual camping grounds um, but yeah no I you know I'm, I'm not even going to say I'm not even going to say a lot I like it because I don't know yet I've not slept on it and uh, yeah, I will give it a review, a proper review, uh, at some point in the future. Probably not that long away, to be honest. Um, I think I'll probably do it fairly soon. Uh, but I'm going to get back out there, re guy it out, because yeah, I've not appropriately guided it out. And uh, yeah, it should be right then. But yeah, it's, it's supposed to be like this until about 10 o'clock. So that's fun. So five hours of this shit. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to re guy it. Hopefully, that sort of improves it a little bit and it doesn't sort of strain as much as it is. So, yeah. Anyway, it's, it's, uh, we're here though. We're here on Linkfell finally. And I'll, uh, I'll tell you why this has been a bit of a strange one to come and camp on. I'll give you a bit of a spooky story as well. So, yeah, join me on later on for that. But yeah, apart from that, I'm just resting my head on my backpack. With my feet in the uh, in the porch, um, but yeah, I'm knackered. Um, hopefully, I'll sleep well tonight, but who knows? Well, I just set up the uh, sleeping mat, sat on that now, um, and I've re-guided it out. It's a bit better, um, but it is still like pretty flappy. Um, but it is very windy out there. I've even got my winter sleeping bag out. Can you believe it? Um, <laughs> so they got full box of tissues. Uh, yeah, it's a bit much, I think, guys. Uh, my nose. Once, when I have a cold, my nose is horrendous. Um, it just nothing but snot. Lovely, I know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, tonight's menu though. Another something to eat meal. Yeah, something to eat. Chicken tikka with rice. Big pack. So that'll be nice. Keep me, keep me warm. That. I'm just taking my boots off and uh, left it in, left them in the porch. But, yeah, the porch is massive. Um, so that's fine. But again, same for the review. I, I really need to do the review because I really want to talk about the tent. Um, so I better, better get that review done. But yeah, uh, it's, it's going to be a long night, I think, until the early hours in the morning where it's the winds tomorrow morning. They're going to be meant to be like five kilometers, zero kilometer an hour wind, so nothing. So that's quite good, that. It's gonna be quite a nice morning, hopefully. But I brought the drone with me, so if it's any good, I'll get the drone up, fly that around, um, and get some views in. But yeah, it's, uh, it's good to be back out while camping. Um, well, it's been probably just over a month now, since I was camping, so that's not too bad. Uh, but yeah. I was meant to be in the uh, four class. Um, that's what I was going to camp in. But last night, I sort of was like, "Do you know what? Let's have a quick, let's have a cheeky look on marketplace." And yeah, there was one on there, so it's quite, quite good. Uh, yeah. Oh. But it is freezing out there, freezing. But I'm just going to relax for a bit. I might get myself a brew on. Uh, have a nice brew warm up the cockles and uh, have some snacks. I think I've got a cake bar, a flapjack and a gingerbread man. Yeah, so one of those is what I'm probably going to have. So I'll get the uh, the old jet boil out and uh, get cooking. Well, get boiling, but yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> well, it is not improving. Um, <laughs> but we've just been outside for probably half an hour chatting. But I've decided to come back in the tent because it is not pleasant out there. It's not it's not great for having a conversation, let's put it that way. But I think uh, shortly I'll be getting food on. Uh, tent's flapping. Yeah, it's a flappy day. So oh, I think uh, I'm just going to relax a little bit. I had a gingerbread man with a coffee earlier. That was nice. Uh, but yeah, it's just... <laughs> we never ever get a decent wild camping me and Simon you know we, we've been nearly a year now at it trying to find a decent day for camping nothing so anyway is what it is so yeah so I'm gonna get my head down probably watch some YouTube videos or something uh, and just relax for a little bit but yeah apart from that great British weather well, the wind certainly calmed down a bit sooner than I thought it would as well, which is good. Just started to boil the uh, the water so I can have my something to eat meal. And the uh, dehydration uh, pack was right at the top as well, so even better. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's not too bad now. Like, you can probably tell, it's not as windy anywhere near as windy. But um, yeah, I think it's time to, to talk a little bit about this hill and why it's been a bit of a strange one um yeah this this hill has been is that, ah, you're in a tent you just get used to things dangling in front of your face <laughs> <coughs> i think it will have been just about just over a year ago was the first time that this fell was supposed to be walked and I was over on Sail Fell. There's a video on YouTube. Well, I was over on Sail Fell, and I was gonna come and do Ling Fell as well at the same time. Get them both done, get them ticked off, Wayne Wrights. Uh, did Sail Fell. The wind was horrendous. It was freezing as well in the wind. Um, pretty sim, probably a little bit worse than what it was today, uh, but similar. Uh, and. There was, there was rain sort of coming in as well. So I abandoned it and I chose to go and do Castle Crag instead um, as another Wayne Wright. Uh, so that was the first time I was supposed to do Lingfell. And then the second time was supposed to be a wild camp. And this was probably February, March, probably March actually supposed to come on wild camp here <clears throat> um, again with Simon and the weather wasn't great and something wasn't quite right and I think we just decided not to go camping I think it was uh, so that was that was number two then we had another wild camp planned in that we did and we, we decided we just went over to uh, What's it called now? I don't know, snow, my, my blizzard camp. What was that? What's that fell? Over near Old's Water anyway. Uh, can't remember the blizzard fell's called now. Um, so we did that. So another time we're supposed to come here. Then another time we were supposed to come here and do it, but we just decided with the weather not being great, we'll, we'll just cancel it again and just go to Fair Snape. So we did Fair Snape. And then another time, this was probably August now. Um, again, weather was terrible. Always, every time we think, oh, we'll do Lingfell. Weather has always been terrible to come and do a wild camp. Uh, and we ended up in the Peak District <coughs> when we did the cat, cat tour. That wild camp. That was fine, everything was fine. Never thought much of it, but then we was, I was starting to get a bit like, what is going on with this Lingfell? Why? Every time I come to do it, does it just something just gets in the way? So the last time we tried to camp here, we actually were coming to camp here, um, and someone, I think, 
I don't know what happened exactly, but basically the M6 got closed. Um, and we thought, right, well, we'll avoid the M6, we'll go straight past Kendall, through Windermere and all that kind of thing. But the, the traffic when we got to Kendall was standstill. There was absolutely no movement whatsoever. It was terrible. And I just said, I sacked it off. I thought, you know what, forget this. We'll just look behind us. We'll go to the Yorkshire Dales. We'll camp there somewhere. Uh, and that's what we did. That's what we did last time. Um, yeah. Again. Wow. Just when are we going to be able to camp on this fell? <clears throat> then this week. It's when it gets a bit spooky. We're like, yes, we're going to Lingfell. We're camping there. Wednesday or Tuesday, something like that. I guess about a man flu. Uh, still got effects of it right now, but I get I get a bit of man flu. And I think, oh, really, again? Something again is stopping me from going on this bloody wild camp. And I thought, you know what, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, you know, I'm gonna leave it to last minute. If I, if I don't feel well, I don't feel well, I won't do it. Um, but I felt well enough this morning, but yesterday, Friday, uh, this Saturday now, Friday, I goes, into work after nipping out somewhere and I go back in there's a customer there uh, and he I, I don't I'm not gonna say I I'm an agnostic believer if you will like I don't I don't know basically I don't know is the spirits is the not spirits I don't know and I don't really want to cast a judgment on something I don't know so basically this customer says to me where are you going? Are you away this weekend? And I said, uh, yeah, why? I'm going to go on wild camping with, with a mate. He's like, okay. And basically this guy, he says he's in contact with the other side. Again, I don't know. It's, I find it a bit strange, a bit wild. But he says to me, he says to me, they called out to him, the others called out to him, and were basically like, Leo, 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 Leo. Um, something about, got to be very careful. Um, <laughs> there is a darkness or something bad in the air for whatever you're doing, and it's something you've tried to do before. And I was like... What? Because every time I have come to try and do Lingfell, there's always something happened. Always been something bad. Like, not bad, but just something that put me off coming. You know? And the last, not the last time, but when I have had experiences in the past which have sort of been like, don't do something. E.g. the motorbike accident I had. The morning of that motorbike accident, I dropped the motorbike and I thought, what, how, why did I just drop the motorbike? I don't understand how I managed to drop the motorbike. And I was already like, oh, should I really be riding the bike? But anyway, I, I did ride the bike and that's another story. But I've always, it's always, always a bit spooky now. But yeah, Ling fell and he basically said he's been in contact with the other side and I am, apparently I'm now protected. I'll, uh, I'll turn that off. Apparently I'm now protected and uh, yeah, just very strange. Not, I don't know, I don't know if I, if I really believe it or not, but yeah, the night's not over, the you know, the, high, the, the weekend's not over yet. So we'll see, but I've just been extra vigilant with everything I've done today. And tomorrow I'm gonna be extra vigilant as well because I'm just like, <sighs> what if, you know, what if? Um, but yeah, it's weird, a bit weird. Like someone I've never spoke to about it before comes and says something like that and I'm like, it could just be coincidence, it could just be absolute nonsense, it could be anything like that, but yeah, how strange guys. So anyway, um, we'll see how the night goes, we'll see if any spooky happenings happen. I'll put the, uh, the GoPro outside again on a night lapse and uh, yeah, if there's any spirits or anything that walks past the tent tonight, ooh, uh, we shall see. But <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd tell you guys that because it is a weird one and I'm not very much like into that sort of thing, but it does make you think, doesn't it? It does make you think, is there something about this fell that is 
a bit of a strange one and Simon just said, you know what, we need to break this curse, we need to just go. And I was like, yeah, we do. So we're here. Um, and so far, not too bad, the wind's calmed down. We've got through, I think, the worst of the weather. Um, so yeah, but chicken ticker time. Yeah, spooky. good morning and yeah it is a nice morning today slept all right to be fair it wasn't a bad night um i think once like 10 o'clock rolled around that you know the wind certainly dropped quite a lot uh and yeah we were all right then i think uh, it just died down every hour got less and less and less and less and this morning woke up to hardly any wind uh, which is always a nice thing uh, but it is a cold morning but it's a nice morning and look at that the sun coming up between the valley, uh, yeah, and there's no clag, low clag. So around me, I should. I'm gonna get the drone out. I think and have a bit of fly around, but um, but all around me, it should be really nice, like conditions to see everything, all the mountains that are surrounding me. Um, I say surrounding. There's nothing really to the north, um, and the Solway Firth you can really see today crystal clear that's what i like about this time of year um with it being so cool there's not much heat haze so you can literally see for miles uh and you got scotland just over there yeah looks really good and uh yeah but wow my hands are out and i'm thinking i should get my gloves back on because uh yeah it's not warm so uh i'm gonna put the camera down and uh probably pack some things up in the uh in the bag because um, dad don't need it now and just uh, maybe hang around a little bit more uh, and enjoy these conditions because it's been a while since we've had nice conditions um, well it's been a while since I have anyway uh, there has been nice days but I've just not been able to take advantage of them um, but today yeah hopefully it's going to be a nice one and I'll be able to you know have a bit of a chill out in the Lake District for a bit
Well, what a fantastic morning we've had. Come to the trig once more, uh, and obviously I've flown the drone about as you've seen, but I didn't give you any 360 views. So, I mean, you've pretty much already had it with the drone, but from eye level, I'll give you those Ling Fell 360 views. That's me, all packed up on Lingfell, and uh, so I was just doing the same. He's packing up his tent now, but yeah, just obviously leave no trace. So I am double checking and triple checking. Uh, but yeah, it's been a nice camp this morning. <laughs> uh, but yeah, from about 10 o'clock last night, it was it was actually quite nice. Um, it calmed down quite a bit, and I was able to enjoy it a bit more. But yeah, when we got here, a bit wild. Um, so. Yeah, nothing happened overnight. There was no spooky goings on, uh, apart from Simon seemed to think at about 11 o'clock at night he had some women laughing, or a woman laughing. So, I'm not sure, I didn't hear it, so you never know, it could be the, it could be, uh, the lady in white or something. Who knows, but yeah, um, it's a nice little spot, good spot for wild camping. Uh, finally got here to do it, so yeah. Um, like I say, just checking over, make sure I've left nothing. Uh, but yeah, good camp, um, tent. I'll save it for the review. Um, yeah, uh, I will uh, be doing a bit of research on it as well, making sure I'm doing everything right. Like I normally do in my tent reviews, um, make sure everything's okay. Um, you know, how things are done. I just literally bought that yesterday morning. Sort of remembered from two years ago, pitching video I saw on it when I was doing a bit of research into getting uh, that tent uh, but yeah apart from that it was a bit bit wild setting up um, but yeah we're here now we're done we've done the camp gotta get back down safely gotta get home safely and hopefully nothing else happens thank you guys for watching uh, really appreciate if you got this far if you did like it if you haven't subscribed subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video uh, wherever that may be um, hopefully by the time this video has come out it's been regular since hopefully by this time I've fixed my laptop um, and I'm getting the videos back out there again which uh, has been a bit rubbish as of recording this video um, but yeah thank you guys for watching I'll see you later